brought to you by RunToGold.com, the premier source for monetary science applied to geopolitical, international, and economic financial news and events. Welcome back to the 40th episode of the RunToGold.com podcast. Uh, today I was invited to speak at a book club at the Cafe Libertalia, and I actually got to choose the book that we would be talking about. So I chose What Has Government Done to Our Money and The Case for a 100% Gold Dollar by Murray Rothbard. This book is a staple in Austrian economics. I think everybody should get and read a copy of it. It's fairly short at about 192 pages, and it has a lot to learn about the history of money and fractional reserve banking. And then uh, the second part of it, uh, the case for a 100% gold dollar, is a persuasive essay about what should be done in the future. So you have a good objective monetary history and then a persuasive essay about what should be done in the future, which I actually don't really fully agree with Rothbard's assertions, but you got to remember the book was copyrighted 40 years ago, so he didn't have the benefit of a lot of our information technologies and the internet to see what type of monetary evolution would happen. Some of the topics in here, you've got the introduction, money in a free society, uh, where he talks about the benefits of money, the monetary unit. Uh, for example, our dollar came from the German uh, Taller, which uh, was the ancestor to later currencies such as the Spanish dollar or pieces of eight. Then you've got, he addresses the problem with hoarding. Ooh, is there n enough gold and silver uh, to handle an economy? Uh, chapter three is on government meddling with money. And so he talks about how government funds a lot of their activities through inflation because they can't necessarily get the money through direct taxation. And how that debases the currency and how the legal tender statutes affect all of these things. Then, uh, number four, you've got the monetary breakdown of the West. So he'll walk you through the classical gold standard as originally devised by Newton, uh, phase two with World War One and after, then the gold exchange, then you've got fluctuating fiat currencies, uh, the Bretton Woods system, the unraveling of Bretton Woods, the end of Bretton Woods, the Smithsonian Agreement, and then fluctuating fiat currencies after the Nixon shock when we went off the gold standard. And so that that comprises the what has government done to our money. And that's the real part I think everybody should read. And it goes up to about page 120 or so. So it's a real short book, and it's printed on real high-quality paper and a really well-done uh Really well done a book that I think will make a great addition to everybody's library. So I recommend getting a copy of What Has Government Done to Our Money so that you can get a good history of money and currency and how it's evolved throughout history. And it gives a lot more perspective for your investing and things like that. Anyways, this has been episode 40 of the RunToGold.com podcast. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to the RunToGold.com podcast, the premier source for applied monetary science on the web.